What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense and Shawnee, Shawnee, Shawnee. We got to get into it. Like the video as the intro plays because we got a lot to get into. I was listening to Make It Make Sense. Shout out to Make It Make Sense. Thank make you. It for makes sense to me intellectually. Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. You know what was up. How does a pastor find a heathen and marry her? Babe, we only How did a, you land a lady? <laughs> we only have a limited amount of... Let me start off by saying this. I actually... I don't mind Shawnee. Um, I don't necessarily like her for basketball wives, but in terms of who Shawnee is as a person, get it how you live. When I found out that she had been, or when Shaq alleged that Shawnee had been hiding money while he was cheating all up and through with everybody, I was like, she's kind of smart. I actually don't mind Shawnee. Uh, yeah, no, I don't mind her at all, to be honest with you. That seems smart to me. If you got to sleep with Shaq, Superhead said it was horrible and real, real sweaty. So, you know, get it how you live, Shawnee. But... I'm sure y'all have all seen today some no-name producer rapper outed her. And I'm going to be honest with you. Although I do believe there's probably some truth to what he's saying, it kind of is lame that he did it, to be honest with you. It, it's kind of lame. But I'll let you guys hear what he said, and we got a lot to talk about. We're going back, blast. We're going to blast through the past. We we. Shawnee, you gotta do you gotta do better if you're gonna do these kind of things. Make sure you do it with somebody who's quiet, because this is not this is not it. This is the accusation. Can when it. she brought me uh, my watch, you was fucking Shawnee. Oh my god. <laughs> Shawnee O'Neal. Oh hey, my hey, God. Hey, you know the crazy part, no, right? Hold on, nigga. Hold on, look, hold the on crazy no. Part, right? no, look. No, I wasn't. No, wait. Look, so look. That's a wild card. Listen, bro. Jesus. You brought bro, what me you... AP, right? Wait, who brought you an AP? Shawnee, right? Uh, no, so Sha Shaq's bank account. Look, Shaq got mad at me cause, because I'm fucking or whatever like that, but that's, you know, what that's a. Uh... What the fuck am I here? So, right when, so when I proposed to her, right? Wait, Shaq, you go off on her. He proposed to some hot tea. Uh, y'all, <laughs> this is the watch. I had to stop it real quick. This is the, I mean, this is not the exact watch, but this is kind of like probably something like what he got. Same brand. He probably got a fully, they call it a bust down when it's all diamonds. Let me go back and let you guys hear again. Can when it. she brought me uh, my watch, you was fucking shiny. Oh my god, Shawnee <laughs> O'Neal. Oh hey, my hey, god, you know the crazy part, no, right? Hold on, hold on, look, look, hold on no, part, right? no, look, no, I wasn't. Look, no, wait, look, so look, that's a wild card, listen, bro. Jesus, bro, what are you? AP, right? Wait, who brought you an AP? Shiny, right? Uh, no, so Sha Shaq's bank account. Look, Shaq got mad at me because because I'm fucking or whatever like that, but that's. You know, that's a. What the fuck am I here? So right when, now? so when I propose to her, right? Wait, Shaq, you go off on her. He Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Wait, stop. He's wait. You proposed to Shawty. No, 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 me, hell no. me, 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 me. To, to when, her. When he proposed to me, Shaq DM'd me and said, and "I wish you the him. best of luck." What the fuck luck. you got to do with Shaq? Because he was my friend. Prior to. Prior to him and Shawty. Prior to us. So, so Shaq when I know who you this, are, yeah, because, because he, he fucked his wife or ex-wife. No, but she was spending money on me, right? <sighs> so she yeah, got me yeah, a Richard yeah, Millie. Yeah. <laughs> a Richard Millie, you can't yeah. come over. No, he's not dead on me. He's come not. On. What happened to him? I got. Oh. It's not today. No, oh, he gets shot too many times. He don't shot. wear jewelry oh. no more. Yeah, so it's like at the end of the day, I was fucking. I mean, she was like a sugar mama to me.
Das ist... We thought that Brandy was talking about we thought that Brandy was talking about Tammy, but this whole time she was talking about Sean. Okay. There's so much. There's so 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 much. First off, Shaq clearly has a type. When I watched this initially, I was like, why is she outing? First off, why are they outing Shawnee and Shaq? Who are these people? This is so random. And Shaq definitely has a type. As long as you pass the paper brown test, you have a good shot of getting with Shaq. For real. All you have to do is pass the paper bag test. That's it. That's it, y'all. <laughs> uh, but okay. A, if you're like me, you have no idea who these people are. So let me show you. Um, Loose Cannon is a producer slash rapper. But the only thing that I have ever heard about him is that he was cheating on his current wife with Black China. So I'm like, okay, you have a pattern. You have a history of making news by talking about who you're messing with so a couple years ago his current wife outed him so around 2001 his wife said that he was sleeping with black china black china denied the allegations but uh they went ahead and got a divorce she alleged while she was recovering from a c-section of having their child loose cannon was sleeping with black china so she probably would be surprised to know that maybe it wasn't Black China or maybe Black China and Shawnee were on his list. Again, Black China denied it, but, you know, it is what it is. So we got a timeline. 2001, you're allegedly sleeping with Black China. 2023, you are with some woman who I guess Shaq is having something with. This is her, Sharice Mills. <sighs> again, who are these people? So now we have Loose Cannon in the news for two things. Not really about his fledgling career, but about cheating with Black China and now you being, or Shawnee being your sugar mama. Y'all, what is going on? What is going on? Shawnee did better with this guy. Y'all remember when she was dating him? He was 12 years her senior. But again, Shawnee's stuff has always been really, really quiet. This is messy. So he's alleging that two weeks before she married the pastor, she said, I needed some, I needed some D, some good D before I get married. I'm thinking at this point, everybody's an adult. Maybe if it's true, the pastor knew. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're all adults. There's all these rumors swirling around about him and now her. Maybe they're happily married and maybe they do what adults do. And they, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm at a point where I've seen so much. I've heard so much. I could feel, I could reasonably think that maybe they know what's up because this was her response y'all and it to me it felt kind of like a non-response she just posted this it's two excuses you give god every time he tells you to do something the name of this sermon is not jay-z's album but it is called reasonable doubts i want to talk to you about reasonable doubt she posted this in response basically saying that there's reasonable doubt to what this man is saying that is not, it did not happen. That's not, it did not happen. Additionally, Shawnee has a book that's coming out, her memoir. So this is perfect for her. This is just like when Jada had all that firestorm media attention right at the same time that her book came out. Well, Shawnee's book is coming out. 
you couldn't pay for publicity like this. No, it's not good publicity, but publicity is publicity. Do I think that Shawnee might have had a relationship with this young man? Sure. It seems to be what he does. This was his first wife. This was, you know, this is him. This is Black China and the wife who he said was cheating with Black China. Shawnee does like, you know, younger men. It's funny. Shawnee been dressing like a first lady. She kind of looks like Tamala Mann right here. But, you know, <sighs> we got Shawnee. Her new boo. People may have all these accusations about his sexuality. Now we're getting accusations about Shawnee being a sugar mama. Get thirsty, sugar mama. Oh, baby. So, I mean, are y'all believing it? Again, I just showed you her response was kind of like a non response. I could see it. I could, I could definitely see it. Um, so what did you say? She did not confirm or deny. What did you just say? Um, she did not confirm or deny. Exactly. Uh, thank you for the super sticker. You want to know? And Sassy Girl says so. They had a brown table talk instead of a red one. <laughs> At this point, I you know people people have been trying. <laughs> I have not heard that Keon did anything wrong to anybody. So when people try to like out him, we don't really know what that man does in his bedroom. And for her, if she was paying a guy, they were both of, I mean, if she was this guy's sugar mama, they were both of age. They were both consenting adults. I don't know why this had to be out it except for the fact that now his name is in the headlines. That's it. Um, somebody says she didn't deny it because she might double. She didn't deny because she might double check. I think that she's not denying it because the guy is just going to. Do I need to bring the receipt? No. Oh, no. I got receipt. It doesn't take much to like when you own luxury items like that, who bought it? who it's registered to is all there. He would just need to go to wherever it was purchased and show who purchased it, show that he had, like, it wouldn't be hard for him to come out and say, I just don't understand if they didn't have anything negative happen to them. And if Shaq was the one who reached out to that no name woman, Sharice, and was upset about, you know, what her boyfriend was doing, that would have nothing to do with Shawnee. Let me pull up his Instagram account because I did see that there was a picture of the two posted and the caption, re it really did give me, oh, they know what they're doing. Here we go. She, she posted this, two hustlers in a relationship is a powerful combination. So they know what they're doing. They definitely know what they're doing. I'm just... I I don't understand why Shaq continuously embarrasses Shawnee. I don't. Now, we all know exactly what happened between Shaq and Laura Govan. Where's that picture? We know what happened between Shaq and Laura Govan. Laura was on Shawnee's show. Shaq was cheating with Laura. We all found out because these messages got exposed um let me see it says lol you're crazy as long as you taste me and make me c-o-m-e-l-l-l y'all remember these text messages so you are once again embarrassing her hold on Running their mouth isn't smart for the hustle. Exactly. Um, is Shawnee going with you? Now, how late? These were from Laura. See, so, so I'll see you at 1.30. And this one. 
Yes, I will call you. I miss you so much. Can we do it in the car or at my apartment? Like, y'all remember this, right? You're still embarrassing, Shawnee, because where is it? I had it up here. Oh, here we go. Now, again, you are dating, allegedly, one of the basketball wives. So you are getting Shawnee exposed because you then reached out to this woman for whatever reason, whatever y'all's alleged relationship is, mad because of her, her new boyfriend is whew, allegedly Shawnee sugar baby. That makes them so mad they come out and expose Shawnee. You are once again dating her basketball wife. Like, is it just me? Shaq is not as um. I don't know. It it just is all an embarrassment. Number one embarrassment was dating a flavor of love girl. That was definitely a number one type of embarrassment. But <laughs> let me upload this picture so you guys can see. Let me get in here. Um, I also before. I also have some stuff on Keon Henderson that I was really, really, really surprised by. And it ain't even really technically his, it's not his, um, it's not his, ugh. we'll end the video with that. When, when I get to it, we'll end the video with that. Let's move on. I found this. Shawnee already has some public issue, public image issues with the church. They are low-key kind of like Megan Gooding her. And this doesn't help. You know, I just like, it's some church folks. Let me just be honest. It's some church folks I can hang with. It's some I can't. It's some I just have to because I'm in this circle now. And, um, but yeah, it's some that's just like, I just want people to give who they really are. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it 100. Don't don't morph into somebody that you're not all of a sudden because you want, you know, views and likes. Don't do not do that. Because who was you last year? This so she says things like that. It gets her in trouble with the church people naturally, right? Like, you can't be... <laughs> They're going to make it... I, after this, they might Megan good her. And what I mean by Megan good her, it's like you marry this pastor. Megan was arguably one of the most beautiful women, you know, one of the most beautiful women actresses before the marriage. Then she kind of like toned it down. But we all remember what you were doing prior to the marriage, Megan. You were out here living your best life, letting Khloe Kardashian put you on a, a leash. Shawnee has moved into the role of first lady what I can appreciate about her is it's like a new age type first lady. She's going to be who she is. She's on basketball wives. Some people, I mean, the people in her church like her, but I think after this and maybe the expose, I mean, this, it's not an expose, the book that she's putting out, she might want to like calm it down just a little bit, like just a little bit. Cause it's, <sighs> I think that people can only take so much and you're giving them a lot now. And this one, her being exposed isn't even technically her fault. Shaq with hoops and stuff like that. Whenever I see this picture, this is what I think about. <laughs> Let me stop being messy. Let me stop being messy. <laughs> thanks for the super chat measure man says keon needs to worry about the gideon project Dwayne hawkins daryl patrick i left because of her trifling who is the gideon i don't know who these people are you'd have to let me know specifically you don't have to send another super chat but i don't know um 
who those people are. Um, okay. In terms of Shawnee's marriage, though, I'm happy that she found love after Shaq. Like I said, I actually do like Shawnee, but people do have questions about the marriage. As in, this was his first wife. His first wife had some series called the Closet Series. And, you know, she was getting her social media up. Her husband was helping her. And that was, you know, I think he even was on her podcast talking about the ups and downs and the great part about being married to her. That was the summer of, I believe, 20, I think the summer of 2017. Let's see. I think it was 2017. Oh, 2019, he got divorced from his first wife. Well, that summer, guess who was a part of one of his projects for the church? Miss Shawnee O'Neill. So the timing is a little... First off, why would dating, married, engaged, and single have Evelyn Lozada as a guest host or guest speaker what are you teaching the church what about evelyn lozada's dating history would say hmm let's go ahead and have evelyn talk about what it means to be a basketball mistress i huh no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am Okay. Am I missing something? But anyway, the timing of it, you are at some point connected to Shawnee in the summer of the same year that you end up divorcing your wife. And then a couple years later, you and Shawnee are engaged. The timing is a little off. So we need, we probably need like a few, few less church scandals, Shawnee. Cause that, you know, I'm not saying that there was anything going on between them, but the timing is definitely a little bit off. Um, the Gideon Project is T.T. Jake's project. My sister grew up with Keon. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. It's also not a good time for anybody associated with T.T. Jake's. Y'all know why. Everybody is trying to just get anything and everybody associated with Diddy called to the carpet. So, and we do know that Keon and T.D. Jakes, both pastors of a mega church, both having affiliation with each other. Whew. It's a lot, y'all. It's a whole lot. I, it's a whole lot. <laughs> let's move on let's let's move on again i do like shawnee um i will i will get shawnee's book but even prior to shawnee coming in there was a lady this particular lady who posted this about keon's ex-wife it says my name is rachel bell and my pastor is a liar. My pastor is not married to Felicia Henderson. She is a seat filler. My pastor has been afraid to tell the truth for two reasons. Number one, fear. Number two, my looks. God told my pastor two years ago I was his third wife. He pretends I'm not, and my silence has cost me to suffer. Felicia Henderson has a muzzle over her mouth, so she can't defend herself since we all know she bragged about her prenup. She is evil, wicked, lying. She's an evil, wicked, lying witch, and she lying which she has destroyed, divided, and corrupted our church. She is solid indeed. Miss Jackie Williams, the COO of the Lighthouse Church, is also a witch. I have been under spiritual warfare this entire time. God is real, and all those who have mocked him will see for themselves his wrath. You cannot do evil in the kingdom. If my pastor passes the test by telling the truth, he's free. If he lies, he makes God a liar. Every person that has used their tongue against me will have to repent. Ask your pastor if I'm lying. It's that simple. 
by the way, I am a minister, not a seat feeler, like his fake ex-wife. Now, this lady went ahead and had to get, um, he went ahead and got a restraining order put out against her. Technically, I hadn't really heard anything negative about Keon, you know, just like little whispers. Whew. So we got Shaq dabbling in every light-skinned woman he can find. Shawnee allegedly giving out $50,000 watches. I told you guys, city boys are winning. Mind you, y'all got all on me when I said, oh, I'm going to be a city boy. I've been dating for love my whole life. I need to be a city boy. They all blew up my comments telling me not to be a city boy. Y'all, I was just joking. <laughs> I was just joking. But y'all, you know, y'all know I have a dry sense of humor. But the city boys are winning. They're getting $50,000 watches. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, before, I got some, like, interesting clips on Keon. So, as we know, Keon is a pastor at a mega church. He's kept a relatively low profile in terms of, like, scandal. Um, he is a two-time divorcee, but like I said, I like him and Shawnee together. And I'm thinking that they probably are very honest with each other as it relates to their relationship. And that's why it works. I don't see him trying to make in good her, per se, and making her change. I think that together, I like them as a couple. And I don't think that this accusation is really going to like shake them. I've seen a lot at this point in my life. I've seen a hell of a lot. But I'm sure some of you guys know this, but I did not know it. So we're about to get into this very interesting take on what happened with Keon and how he met his father. This was from an interview that T.D. Jakes did with him. And it exposed that his mom was the mistress, was the mistress to the pastor. And then she stayed in the church. Let me let you guys hear. Wait, where is it? Give me one second. I need to I need to upload that, I guess. I see some of it. There was like three clips, but I only see two. So let me. Delete that, delete that, and then here we go. Did y'all know that story? I had no idea. My mind was blown. I might have to just let you hear it. I don't think it downloaded. Here we go. I found out he was my father at 12. Okay, so um, I wasn't Let's really- Let's right there because a lot of people uh, just gasped. <laughs> okay. You served a pastor as an adjutant, and at 12 years old, you found out that your pastor was your father. Yes, sir. So you're at church. I guess he's similar to what, like an altar boy to the pastor of the church. And at 12 years old, he tells his mom, I want to know who my father is. And she said, you already know him. It's the pastor. How horrible for a kid to go through that. But I'll let you guys see the other clips. Every year that I can remember, I used to pray and wish he was my father because he was this quintessential example of what a father should be. I saw him taking care of his other children. I saw him building a ministry. I saw him amassing wealth. I saw him building apartments for the less fortunate community development corporations. He was a multi-site church in the 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, so wow. I saw this growing up and the moment I found out, honor became hatred. Um, Why? 
because I couldn't figure out how he could tell everybody every Sunday what they needed to do with their families. And I witnessed him not do any of that for me. And I got angry. And so I asked her, could I confront him? So, no, I said it would be equivalent to an altar board. You know, I'm Catholic, but he was one of the people who, one of the young people who helped the reverend out. So to find out that that is your dad, but it, it, it continues, y'all. And my mother was a member of the church. Mm -hmm. And my mother was the only child at that time who had had children out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. So she was a black sheep. She was the only woman who had it. Only, yeah. yeah, only woman in the family. And everybody else was married and everybody else was upward mobile and doing all of this stuff. And here my mother is, no education, two children by the pastor of the church. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was a hard thing. How did that translate into am I as good? I, I'm just awed by the first question. We've never talked about that. Okay. Um, it, it sounds like to me you question your value or his value of you. Yeah. Uh, how did he respond? He, he responded by making a U-turn and dropping me back, back off at the house and telling me that I was going to upset him before he had to teach Bible study. He never answered the question. That is disgusting, and my heart goes out to Keon. Absolutely disgusting. He told him that he felt like he wasn't good enough. Mind you, you're the pastor of this church. You have all this money. He tells you that he felt like he wasn't good enough in a, in one of the first talks about you being his father. And he turns around and basically says, you're not important enough for me to talk to about this because I have to go and preach soon. Turns around and drops him off. Do you know what a mind F that has to be? What a disgusting human being. But she, the mom did have two kids with them. And then stayed in the church. So you and your kids are sitting looking at the priest, I mean, the reverend's kids in the front pews while you're relegated to the back. It's disgusting. On all fronts. Let me let you see who his dad is, though. He has a distinctive, he reminded me of somebody else, and I'll show y'all why in a minute. We're talking about, and we on, what we're on tonight and last night is the discipline of details. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I think, yeah, and I. Y'all, does he remind you of anybody? This ain't stealing. I, I think that's clear that the, I really kind of got an idea today why the Lord is sending me this route. Because when, when children were growing up, the quickest way for them to get what they needed to get was that they had gone to Felicia and they this would have been still. in the promised land early. Yeah. All right. God in his infinite wisdom, God in his full knowledge, and his all knowingness realized that. The children of Israel, even though they had been set free from uh, physical bondage in Egypt, had not at this time been set. Did y'all see any of the resemblance that I saw? It's the tongue thing. <laughs> he, I, I went and looked through a few of his like sermons, and it's all. So this is Keon's dad who never actually acknowledged him. Somebody said to the Nini. No. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you, is it a coincidence? I feel really bad for Keon after I saw that. Like, I can't even imagine what it's like to keep you in the church. Actually, I can imagine because around that same time in my real life, I really wanted to develop more of a relationship and get to know my father. And so my mom kind of made me do the legwork to, it, was, it wasn't it was a good experience. I'll do a story time about that. Um, my mom basically did what his mom did and kind of like had me do the legwork to 
set the situation up to get to know my father. Uh, Measure Man said, yes, there are two restraining orders and one that's missing. My sister and Felicia have been friends for over 15 years. You try having them walk into a Sunday service to Lil, to Lil Uzi. Say what now? We got, you know, we do have some new aged men of the cloth. We definitely have some new age men in the cloth. Y'all know what Jamal Bryant says in his ministries. But I got to tell you, these hoes ain't loyal. You That's probably exactly what Shawnee was saying about that no name producer rapper. Me, but I got to tell you, these hoes ain't loyal. You Thank you for the super chat. Um, the legendary kid said, it's the holiness of it all, Mims. I'm just saying, like, only inviting her friends to the church. Go off thirdly. <laughs> Y'all are telling me something I didn't know. Uh, thank you for the super chat. And Measure Man said, T.T. Jakes is the one that hooked him up with Daryl Patrick and got jealous and the plane and the Gideon Project and caused a lot of love drama. Allegedly. Measure Man is trying to spill some tea. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <sighs> oh, Y'all. I still don't think that Shawnee's response is enough if you're just coming in this is what shawnee responded to the young man who said that shawnee was a sugar mama, thirsty, sugar mama. Oh, baby. who was basically cheating on keon henderson two weeks before they actually got married these two excuses you give god every time he tells you to do something the name of this sermon is not jay-z's album but it is called reasonable doubts i want to talk to you about reasonable doubt She's saying there's reasonable doubt. I'm telling you guys, I don't think Shawnee is going to give like a full body respond to this because I think the guy will just post receipts. receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, baby girl? Because oh, oh, I got receipts. Oh, it's a crazy situation. It's a real, real, real crazy situation. And I sadly believe it. Well, not sadly, everybody's a consenting adult. I'm just more agitated that the man did it. I'm I'm extremely, ag like there's no reason for him to throw Shawnee under the bus like that. And who knows if it is true, Keon might have known. People have adult relationships where they talk about anything and everything. A lot of people are in their marriage, it's like, it's me against the world. And Shawnee's no dummy. Y'all remember this when Shaq was basically saying that it, let me see, uh, in divorce papers Shaquille O'Neal claimed that his marriage to wife Shawnee has been irretrievably broken and accuses her of being shady with his cash it people went on to say <laughs> um let's see unconfirmed rumors indicate that Shawnee O'Neal was either involved or married to one of Shaq's reps before they hooked up. During the marriage, Shawnee lived in the glamorous life on Star Island. Allegations of infidelity involving both parties is the current rumor. Allegedly, Shawnee was anticipating a divorce because she reportedly stashed large sums of money away in overseas trust and Swiss and came in numbered accounts. Before Shaq hooked up with Shawnee, he was involved with former playmate and current actress Passions Daphne Dixon. Is this lady in the underneath the superhead? underneath the superhead um again he only likes light-skinned women i wonder if um giselle might have a shot where is it everyone has been running wild to find out what that what went down between shaq and shawnee as reported earlier shaq's lawyer said the marriage between the parties is irretrievably broken so we know some drama was going on behind the happy facade. Of course, we have no proof that any of the allegations below are true, but hey, it's gossip. Um, Where is it? Another rumor that has been going around is that Shawnee was cheating on Shaq with her 27-year-old personal trainer. One of Shaq's employees claims that Shaq suspected it for a while. My thing is this. If you cheating with every Tom, Dick, and Superhead, what's the expectation that Shawnee couldn't? To me. I think that Shawnee is way smarter than people give her credit for. 
way smarter than people give her credit for. If she stashed money, if the allegation is true and she was with her personal trainer, go for it. Because like Superhead said in this, like a very wise woman once said that sleeping with Shaq was sloppy. It was quick. Um, the package was not expected for his size. And once she fell on hard times, he stopped doing stuff for her. Oh, which one was it? She said that once she kind of got into drugs, like Shaq had put all of the stuff in her house, furnished it, was paying for, not her house, but like her apartment was paying for everything. And when she really got on drugs, Shaq kind of cut her off. When she actually, he was willing to do a lot for her, but once she actually needed him and asked for cash is when he stopped talking to her. So if Shawnee was dibbling, dabbling, so was he with a, with so, so many people, allegedly. So this is y'all's new first lady. <laughs> oh, you said turn my mic up? It shows my mic is on fine. Can y'all hear me? I don't know. Shaq, leave these women alone. Stop messing with Brittany Renner. It's embarrassing to Shawnee. The girl works for her. Get out of other people's business and relationships, Shaq. Well, Shawnee's probably saying the same thing about me right now. But, you know, it is what it is. More power to all these adults. Oh, somebody said you can hear me fine. Okay, yeah. More power to all these adults. If, if it's the incidents that this man was telling the truth, me but i gotta tell you these hoes ain't loyal you shawnee was just sitting at home prepared to release her memoir and you could have did it again the keon mama scandal now that does sound like a tubi movie you had two babies with the reverend stayed as part of the church and did not go off on the man who basically told your son, you're not good enough for me to explain why I did what I did and why I put my other family over yours. I feel really bad for that. I'm going to have to look more into that because my heart goes out to him. My heart goes out to him. But either way it goes, Shawnee has been exposed, y'all. And usually when the exposés happen, I'm just like, whoa, what is this? But... In this situation, I really don't like what he did to her because I believe that they really do have <laughs> Bonchi. <laughs> the pastor wrong for have you ever been swallowed up? Swallowed up. I don't know. Thank you for the super chat, Bonchi. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Bonji. I don't know y'all good luck to all of parties involved i don't think this is going to do anything to shawnee and keon because i think that they have their own i think that they talk i think that they're open i think they have their own relationship and i think they love each other and i don't think that this will shake the foundation of their new marriage i think that they know more than we know so anyway, I got to go. Uh, I will see you guys later. I know a lot of you guys talked about my um, interview with the one of the Eddie Long accusers, and you guys said you wanted an open panel on it. I'm okay with that. Um, maybe at some point this week, I will do an open panel um, on that. We'll see. Um Absolutely love you, Mims. Keep making this sh make sense. Thank you for being a member for nine months. Definitely thank you for being a member for nine months. Anyway, I got to go, guys. So I will see y'all later. Have a good one.